Hello folks, welcome to Cashify Cloud-based accounting software tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to make sales invoices, how to make purchase invoices, how the inventory is reflected with every sales and purchase, how the in accounting statements is managed after the sales and purchase, and how the GST return is filed with the invoices which you are making. So let's start. You need to click. Uh, you need to type on the browser app.cashify.com and press enter then you need to log in once you log in you will find this dashboard on your screen now these tabs are basically your uh, shortcuts to your uh, most used transactions or most used options. These are, those are the customer invoices, that is sales invoices, vendor bills or the purchase bills, the bank transactions and the cash transactions. So prior to this, we need to make company. Just click on this option and then company. Now I have already made a company with the company name tagline if you have a logo the address the email you can also change the state as it will be by default selected as under one and Nicobar and just to click uh, enter the details and the country will also get automatically selected <coughs> enter the uh, website address the GST details the contact details and click save after that, you need to click on Dashboard and now let's start with Customer Invoices. You need to click on New Invoice. And then select the customer. If the customer does not exist in your list, then you just need to type his name, say for example legal master I just need I will just click on create and it will automatically create a customer by its name that's it and then you can select the supply state daily if you need to mention its GST in detail you need to click on here and you can enter the details whichever you want so for example I need to mention just the GST in details and the state that's it and save further I will select the payment details it's a 15 days the invoice date I will just add a product quantity is one the sales tax the taxes have been automatically detected by the place of supply and the company's address so, see and then finalize once you click on finalize it will show you the options of send by email print register payments credit credit mode or refund or cancel the invoice so uh, if you need to edit you just need to uh, click on cancel edit if you need to make any C uh, CDN or credit credit debit note you need to click on uh, credit note or refund if you need to register a payment on this particular invoice so you just click on register payment or if you say I want to send the invoice via, uh, via email you can just click on here now how to see the invoice click on print and GS so we have made uh, so we have made four options for you to print invoice normal invoice the duplicate if you want to make GST invoice and GST invoice without header so without header is basically which will not have the uh, company name which we have entered you can print it on your on your head so let's check it what the company name we have printing so 
So this is the invoice which we make in the GST invoice report. And with, in without header, you won't be getting these details, the company name, the company name, the address. So you can print that on, on your later end. Now let's see how the purchase invoices are made. Click on window bill, new bill. So window one is my random uh, purchase uh, window. If not, then I will just click on and make a new window. So by the name Cashify again. again just like in the sales invoices I just click on create that's it and if there is any purchase order which is impending so I can just click click on it and uh, track the purchase order and then the place of supply build it and add the item So once I do that, I will click on finalize and I will get my bill number for the purchase invoices. So now we'll come back to the dashboard and now I will be filing my GST returns. So to file my G, uh, GST return, I need to click on tax filing and click on file GST return. So once I click on file GST return, it will ask me please select whether you are a regular or a compounding taxpayer. So I'm a regular taxpayer and import the data on quarterly basis or monthly basis. So this is as for the requirement of the GST government now. So I'll click on quarterly and then for which quarter. So I was making the invoice for December. Now we'll click on third quarter and import the data. After clicking on import data, we have now reached GST.tax file portal. The company has already been added. You can add more details by clicking on edit and enter the login ID, password, and other company details, such as uh, type of company, uh, legal entity name, PAN card, the legal name of the company, branch, turnover, and uh, category of the taxpayer, and click submit. Once you click on submit, click on company details, and now we will go inside the GSC software, click on work on GST return, Select December for quarter three. Now, as you can see, two invoices has have already been added. These are the two invoices which we made. Let's come back to the GSTR one and let's click on file. Once I click on file, it will ask for permission to file the file the return. Click on yes. And request has to proceed. Now it will fetch the summary from the GSTN portal. Once the summary is fetched, it will redirect you to the summary, which has been fetched from the government portal. Now this is a summary which we have got from the government portal. That there are two B two C S invoices. The total is this. The taxes is this. And the total taxable value is this. Now the data has been saved to the government portal. And you just need to go to the government portal and file the return. That's it.